morning farmers it's monday uh yesterday the smoke was really really bad behind the silo and uh yeah it's it's been really bad today's very fragrant smoke and i think it's better i know it doesn't look better it's not actually cloudy either that's weird because you know it's a clear sky i don't know where the sun is i think it's somewhere in all the smoke uh yeah, the garden's doing good. I've put up about three gallons of zucchini. I finally quit eating it and uh, st started uh, putting it up. So we're starting to do pretty good on this. I'm kind of worried, though, because look at the tassels. The tassels are gone. <laughs> well, I don't know how this is going to be. Uh, anything I get, though, is more than I had. So I'm always, always thankful for anything I get. But yeah, it looks like it's gonna do something. And it looks like it's gonna be pretty good size ears cause can you see how big that is? That's enormous. And cause it goes all the way down here. It's an enormous ear. Oh, I always cover up the dang. Ah, anyway, I'll pick up, I'll pick some of these okra again today. I'm optimistically trying to get a quart I have a feral bunny that is in here at night, and I haven't figured out how to... I had him caught. The dog rounded him up, and we got him into the cage over there. He ran down the, the fence and right into the cage, and then I was... I'm not fast enough. I didn't get over there in time to shut that door. So, eh. yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Um... I guess a neighbor over on the other side of town let loose his rabbits. He didn't want them anymore, so he just let them loose. So now there's, I guess there was 25. I only have a problem with one so far. Because rabbits want to hang out with other rabbits, apparently. Look at that. That's a banana pepper. Doing okay. I've been spreading. <laughs> I've, I went from uh, keeping them all neat to spreading them out now because... I'm worried. I'm worried. The farmer's almanac is calling is calling for an early winter, and uh, we'll see. It's cold this morning. Well, that's a weird thing. I used to be good for like at like 50 degrees, and now I'm cold at 60. So it's it's that. Oh, that bunny. Ah, oh bugger. Uh, wonder what chased him, scared him that way. Uh, hmm. Anyway, yeah. So uh, I'm hoping. If not, even if these, is, if I just get a bunch of green ones, we can make a. I will cut them up. See, these should be orange. These green ones that are on there now should be orange. In a, by Labor Day when my family gets here. So, uh, hopefully I'll have enough for them to munch. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried. But anyway, if all these flowers that are flowers today are green tomatoes in three weeks... And it doesn't, and if it's early, it depends, you know. I mean, if it doesn't frost until September 22nd, I've still got a month. <laughs> so I might be worrying for nothing, but I don't know. It's my first year here, and I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I've never been here in the fall. So, you know, I did save back seed from the, from some of the <laughs> oranges, or oranges, some of the orange tomatoes I was eating. Oh, I have to check my Brussels and make sure that rabbit. I see the big one. I see the little one. Yay. So, yeah, everything's just so big now. That cold June. So, what we learned this year is that cold June, I need, and, you know, well, next year I'll have five beds in, too. I won't have to put beds in. Well, I will be putting beds in in the spring, but I, I won't have to 
put them in before I can plant them. You see what I'm saying? So next spring, this will all be, the first thing I'm planting is those snow peas. Snow peas here. Look at these things, man. They're suddenly growing. I've been eating the baby greens off them. <laughs> yeah, looks like I'll have a few beets anyway. All right, farmers. So that's my uh, that's my update. You want to see the fig? Look at that. It's starting to. It's going to be a shame to. I don't know. I'm going to have to read and see if we have to prune these for three years or if you see now. I know with the hazelnuts, like that one, you leave. Uh, it looks kind of like a gingerbread man. Some of them, you know, arms, legs, and uh, the top. You leave four branches on the hazelnut when you prune it. But, like, these fruit trees, I'm going to cut them all right back to the trunk for this year and next year. <laughs> it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt to cut all those branches off that I took care of all summer <laughs> and were worried over. But this year and next year, it's all about the trunk, baby. Yeah, it's all about the trunk. So this trunk will be two, three times the size. And they'll be orchard trees, you know, because you know how orchard trees, you ever wonder how orchard trees get those thick stalk, you know, the thick trunks and the thick four or five branches that only go on the top? That's how. Well, that's how. And that's what I want. I want four. Okay, so... I ordered, uh, how much time we got? Six. It's, all right, we're home. Less than seven minutes. We've got time. Okay, so I don't want to say my, uh, my backyard plan went totally out the window, but it did take a little turn. So I ordered the, the Osage Orange, and we'll see, you know, how many, uh, viable seeds I end up with that. Uh, here's those blue spruce seedlings I got, by the way. There they are. Four little Montana seedlings. Okay, anyway. Uh, so we'll see if I get enough viable Osage orange seeds to make it worthwhile to, you know, do it for a couple of years. I mean, if I get a thousand seeds out of a dozen of those, um, balls that'd be awesome and i you know i think i could make do with that entire south and probably around here too because i'm going to do it more than i'm going to do it like two feet apart i think maybe even a little bit more because it is a trunk of a tree after all that we're working with okay anyway i mean they make bonsais out of these trees and that's what i'll be doing is training it to be different than what it actually is <coughs> excuse me so i ordered uh what farm would be complete without the wonderful medicinal and um, food and wine that an elderberry uh, bush can provide? So they have to have a cultivar, so I ordered two different kinds, uh, John's and an Adam's, and I'll put those two in the corner where it curves over there. And three pawpaws, which I'm going to put allowing for the see now that's this is kind of i'm in a quandary here because now there's no guarantee that these little four little seedlings will grow but those three pawpaws will there is a guarantee on them so i'm kind of wondering if i should plant three pawpaws in a row across there or if i should put three here by the gate to make it you know, because it'll grow into like a big private 15 foot tall by, you know, 15 foot wide. So, you know, I'm th but I have to put those in. And then I ordered five kiwi. <coughs> oh, I got something in my throat. <coughs> hate that. A male and four female kiwi plants for this fence. Because I'm not going to do the grapes because of the, uh, because... There's no overhang, you know, with no arbor or nothing, the grapes aren't going to work as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just plant the male in the center here and put the 
alternate the you know the two different kinds of females you know and uh, we'll see how that goes but the once they're mature in about four or five years they'll produce about a hundred pounds of fruit per vine so that you know that long term that's pretty that's pretty good and kiwis are good i like kiwis i could eat those all day but they're northern ones so they're smaller than the kiwis you get in the store and they're not fuzzy like the ones you get in the store they're same on the inside though okay so uh did I, okay, that was it. That's the rest of the planting, I think, for the trees and stuff like that for this season. So, yay. <laughs> hey, farmers. Well, the sun finally, I found the sun. Uh, <laughs> I said earlier, you know, I was like, where's the sun? And it's really chilly still here. It's like 70 something, something like that. And, uh, that's why it's just super smoky. It's so smoky that it's blotting out the sun.